Greetings, beloved, in the wonderful name of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, you welcome to this channel. I am Sakila God today is saying something new, something great, a surprise is going to happen uh, in your life. Hallelujah. It's amazing because when we talk about something great, something new, it is something that is unexpected. When we talk about a surprise, we're talking about something that we never really know what exactly is. But we know that it's going to change our lives. We know that it's going to actually make us happy. Hallelujah. So let us quickly then look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse number 9. It says that it is what the scripture mean when they say, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who loved him hallelujah it says that what the scripture mean when they say there is no eye has seen no ear has had no mind has imagined what god has prepared for those who love him hallelujah god has prepared something great hallelujah god has prepared something wonderful but it is a surprise to you hallelujah so at some point when we pray to god we pray to god saying god give me just a two-bedroom house i'll be fine with it while god has something greater than a two-bedroom hallelujah sometimes we pray just for a car that will move you from point A to point B, hallelujah, while God is preparing something great, hallelujah. Even the type or the model of the car that you want, you want something that has already existed, while God is saying there's no eye that has seen it, hallelujah. While God is saying there's no ear that has had it, the miracle that it is to happen, the miracle that God had it, has it for you, there is no eye that has seen it there is no ear the surprise that god has it nobody knows beside god but the bible says it is for those who love him hallelujah if you look at verse 10 it says but it was to us that god revealed these things by his spirit for his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secret, hallelujah. The Bible says the spirit of the Lord searches, the spirit of God searches and shows us deep things and great things. So now if you want to see the secreted thing in the kingdom of God, it means you must also be in spirit. Now it brings us to the important of, be, of being in spirit, the important of being spiritual in the kingdom of God. The Bible says there are things that are, are not going to be revealed to every one of us, but to those who are in spirit. Hallelujah. Meaning it is is important to be in spirit i can pray and bless you in general but when i call upon god when i go to god spiritually i am saying to god even the things lord that were not revealed to the next person even the things lord that you cannot reveal but now i'm in the presence i'm i'm in the place where i'm saying god even those things which are a surprise i'm in the place where i'm saying god give me what is secreted hallelujah so if you want to understand if you want to know what god has kept for you be somebody who is actually feeding his spiritual life hallelujah be somebody who's actually cultivating motivating his spiritual life so that god will be able to reveal secreted things he had for you stay blessed and continue to watch this channel in the mighty name of jesus christ amen